ni apa phone? Ni ni dah vibrate. Have ringtone tak ada? Hmm. And we are live. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday morning. Feel free to drop us some questions throughout the show. And let's welcome the parents of our athletes from the national team. Parents, please introduce yourself to the audience and who your children are. Maybe we can start. I'm only supporting my son in Silat. My name is Hasrita, mom to Hafiz. Hafiz actually started late in Silat. He was introduced to Silat in primary school. Actually, he joined Wall at CCA. Then after that, when Sheikh came to teach them, he decided to switch CCA to Silat. You know what I told him? I said, no. Don't join, just stick to football. But then he joined quietly without telling me. Suddenly he asked me for money. He said, uh, can, 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 can I give him money because he wants to pay for the uniform? So I did pay, I did give him the money. Then when he, he was in P6, uh, he was active for about half a year. And then he concentrated on uh, PSAP. Then suddenly he asked me, he said, hey, can I join sports school? Uh, he said he's interested to join sports school. I wasn't keen at the moment, but my husband uh, supported him, you know, sent him for interview sent him for orientations, all that, and he got into sports school. That is where, uh, once he was in sports school, that is where I started to uh, support him in CILAT because I know that a sports school have a balance within, between CILAT <coughs> and education. He wasn't good in sec, uh, sec one when he just started to like, you know, most of the time he doesn't want the game. And then as parents, I used to be so sad for him. But then um, gradually, you know, with trainings all this kind of thing, he improved a lot. That's nice to hear. So speaking about sports school and kids, right, we have another parents here. So I think you have almost all of your kids in sports school. <laughs> so let's see. 
<laughs> okay, hi. Uh, my name is Nuraini. I am a parents of uh, Malu nak cakap banyaknya. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so. uh, Amira, Nadra, Mirza and Maizara. Okay, um, initially, uh, they, uh, in fact that they have been in Silat for more than 10 years, almost 10 years. And um, I would say uh, initially before that, they are in Taekwondo. And then after that, we switch to Silat because we find Silat uh, so-called is interesting compared to Taekwondo because Taekwondo, uh, in order for you to compete, you must have belt, black belt before that, then you can compete. So I actually get them to go for Silat and that's where I see them grow <laughs> until now. And uh, all, in fact, all my kids are in sports school, uh, including my Sarah. Uh, I think that should be all. Uh, my name is Azlin. I'm parent to Ifa Batrisha. Um, we have no knowledge of Sila at all, none of us. So just that one day actually, <coughs> my other son, Ilhan. Ilhan is the one who tarik kakak dia masuk Sila. Tak ada suara pula. Dia jadi lelaki pula. <coughs> so actually Ilhan is the one yang pull kakak dia. So actually kita memang tak ada knowledge, none of us. So one day bila kita balik dari, uh, when I move into Bedok, so kita balik daripada dinner. So ada garden in between of the two flats. <coughs> Tengah ada, ada silat punya silat punya training. So it was done by uh, Mr. Sheikh. So masa tu Ilhan was fanatic dengan Power Ranger. <coughs> dengan Power Ranger. So daripada jauh dia nampak dia ni under the lights. So big mighty, pakai baju hitam kan. So dia lari, dia cakap, Black Ranger, Black Ranger. Then kita like macam, Black Ranger eh. Then my husband was like, Ilhan stop. Macam eh, dia ni tu. So dia cakap dengan Ilhan, you want to join silat? So Ilhan cakap, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Pasal dia pakai baju hitam tu kan. So dia balik, dia bilang dengan my mother semua, I want to join. So, but actually I want Ifa to join uh, apa tu belly kan macam geli kan but since everybody say everybody must join the same uh, the same apa ni same together CCA so kita bawa Ifa but we started off with Gracio uh, Ifa only start uh, uh, in the national when she is in sec 3 itu je so now she's part with uh, Amira part of the regu team yang dia dengan Shikin three of them Definitely when they win lah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it has to be like specific, like do you have anything like like me for you know for no knowledge, zero knowledge and I think that and quite very well now, even in Sunny also, no with zero knowledge. Actually he wanted to quit because he said uh Sunny is not easy, you know you got to remember a lot of steps, all this kind of thing, but then For Ifa, maybe the punya determination from macam from she doesn't know anything like I said she have no basic, but the belajar sikit sikit until now I think I mean she's not there yet, but I mean she's trying her best lah. She's working on it, hopefully lah. Huh? I just realized something you know. 
all the parents here, right? Your kids are all in the artistic event. Already, it's not. You're right, yeah, then. Most of it is like artistic, so okay, I can relate to you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. I have a lot of experience of the moment you can hear about the yeah. ships, you know? No, I mean, um, uh, join, when, when I see them join C-Light, uh, there's a lot of improvement in them. I mean, in, in terms of, in sense, sorry, in sense of responsibility, uh, everything lah, I, I would say, yeah, discipline, yeah, yeah. everything. So, so, I, I'm sure within that 10 years, basically, they, they do learn a lot of things from uh, Silat Federation. Yeah, I think it's, mm. some, it's something that, you know, you cannot really let them in school. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they do incorporate a lot of them into yes. their lessons. Yeah. So, Chitina? your child is at home and when they are competing. I mean, you know, some kids, they they're not like one or different, but then at training or competition, they're like a different, totally different person, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anybody else want to share? Like, what's the difference between your child at home and like me? Our kids usually at home. He likes to keep to himself. He always, uh, most of the time, he's in the room all this kind of thing. But I notice whenever we go training on this kind of thing, he would mingle, you know, with other athletes. He he he, he changed from being so quiet at home, and then suddenly become so friendly when he's outside. So two different uh, freeze that I see him. So which one do you prefer more? Uh, actually both lah. You know, maybe at home he have his own thoughts. Maybe he want to uh, some space for himself. You know, maybe he whatever uh, is in his mind I couldn't read, but he, I I used to talk to him about this kind of thing. And then when I see like he intermingle, that would be good because he share. Sometimes he do share with them his, uh, what problems that he facing. You know, then sometimes he did tell them. Uh, what they need to improve all this kind of thing. So I think both balance between being quiet at home and being friendly outside. Mm. How about you, Chi? Chi, I need to make sure I'll save for the last because you got like four kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like you have to describe all my money. For me, uh, if all of them at home is like normal siblings uh, get together, talk, uh, most of it, they, they would, I would say they also gossip, <laughs> okay, uh, then sometimes I would sit down and talk to them also, uh, but at times at home also, like, all of them will go out running together, uh, um, I, I, I would say basically most of it will be Amira, Amira, Amira will normally will run, will go for a run, and then sometimes she will, she will ask, she will tag along the brother or the sister. But as for Nadra, uh, sometimes she's alone. But then, again, I noticed that she would see YouTube 
to like see how people fight, especially her own category, how they fight. So she learned from there. Yeah, yeah. So most most of the time I see that lah from Nadra, but from Amira normally she will run. She got to run. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like for Ifa, dia don't do silat at home. Uh, we don't talk about silat. It's like macam dia punya rest period. So kat rumah, it's either she catch up on her sleep, dia boleh tidur berjam-jam-jam, ataupun dia tengok, dia watch dia punya Korean movie. Nanti dia tengok, dia watch, watch sampai boleh habis that one season ke apa ya yeah, but sometimes macam some of the days nanti dia akan pergi do her runs by herself she will just macam pukul 8 pukul 9 she will do her run satu estate tu then she come back but we don't talk about silat lah because she, she said that I've been doing silat from Monday to Friday so maybe we don't talk about silat macam okay lah we respect that lah so kita berbual about other things ada apart from silat lah yeah, that's about all. Okay, so we have one question from the viewers. So do your kids actually share their experience or their stories about their training? Or play ke? Or something that they... I don't know. Yes, uh, uh, when I was in Tanding. Uh, so whenever uh, Mr. Sheik teach, or Uncle Sheik teach, or uh, father of the Saki, itulah, itulah, penat lah. You know, he used to feedback then after that kalau macam light bapa hari ke Sheikh lagi lepas tu dia Uncle Sheikh teach again bapa pada yang sakit si penat si he always say the same thing I think it's something every each and every one of us at least in all yeah I think it's good that they you know they don't mind they come back to us and they tell us because otherwise like for me I would ask them hey how's training today is it good you know at times Uh, as what you say lah tak, I mean everyone will definitely go back and complain say oh I'm very tired today at times they say you don't talk to me I, I no mood already all this thing but but I know it's very tiring but after a while I will just tell them that no, uh, if you look back, you take it as a very positive way because if if let's say kalau you train tak penat, that one is not considered training really. Yeah, true. So so if you train, if you say it's penat, means that that's really training, and they are actually testing your so called uh, stamina. So. That's why I say if let's like, say your punya stamina tak bagus, that's where you come to me and say you penat lah all this thing. So you have to tolerate. And at times I will give them example. You talk to me penat, but you do not know other overseas other athletes what they do. They are worse. Their training is worse still than Singapore side. Singapore lagi better. So so I would say that you if you come and tell me penat. Sometimes I macam tak percaya lah, eh, you penat eh. <laughs> penat maybe because of the journey you balik daripada Bedu to home Jurong ke apa. So it's like, kadang-kadang kesian lah. Kadang-kadang, uh, I mean, kadang-kadang after a while I will just talk to them and talk, berbual dengan orang, cakap dengan orang. Yeah. So, kalau, like I say lah, kalau training tu tak penat, tu bukan training lah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
So Ifa dia Kalau dia penat Kita tahu dia penat She will just Dia akan usually bathe first Then she come back Then she cakap I don't want to eat I'm very tired Okay I want to sleep now Tomorrow is a new day So she will just sleep through Nanti besok Will be normal lah Tapi kalau macam She really very tired Then she will just voice out Pasal we will usually meet malam So bila dia come back Then we will sit at the dinner table If she's very tired She say like Okay okay, okay I cannot I cannot uh, I need to sleep I need to sleep Okay means she's very tired Means the training is very tired Kadang kaki apa dia kata Kena Kena plaster ke apa kan hmm. Kata kaki dia bengkak I said never mind lah Slowly So yeah 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 I know I know So okay lah Actually not much of a complaint from her lah Just that she's tired I guess from here I see that Yeah, free time uh, makan keluar bagi makan only two of us then we talk about bila kat luar tanyalah pasal silat then after that masuk sikit about girls boys <laughs> <laughs> lebih pada boys <laughs> yeah cik nur nak kena tuition jadi <laughs> I become his eyes at home So I always tell him what to eat All this kind of thing you know? I always uh, uh, support him in a sense of, of buying food Healthy food for him During his standing category But once he never go uh, He don't have to take care of his weight So I don't really I mean in a way that uh, I don't care about his food anymore But then I used to talk to him Because when he comes back Sometimes he need a listening ear So sometimes when he has some complaint I just talk to him I say never mind It's okay, it's okay So I always see Afis um, masa zaman tanding dengan Sila Because he need to take care of his food mm. So I will always see him on his phone watching mukbang mm-hmm. And then I will be like, Afis, what are you doing? Kak Pio, I cannot eat food so I just watch people eat food And I'll be satisfied by that And then I'm just like, you weird <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, okay um, But do you know something he's a good cook, he can cook at home? Really? Mm. Apart from giving them moral support, we also went overseas, especially it's like near a country to to motivate them. Um, I would say most of the time lah. Uh, even Thailand also. <laughs> At the same time, I also go holiday. <laughs> so, so um, I I got no issue with them because the thing is that whatever they have problems, they will come to me. They talk to me. So, um, from there, I will just give them the the moral support at times. You know, sometimes they are down. They are, they, you know, with they are too tired with schools, especially uh, poly, right? With all the RGs and then clash together with training, so they are very tired. So I, I would say every day I would just talk to them, give them more support. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I think that's all It's like, you know, back then uh, when I was an athlete, my parents don't really like moral support. So when I see other athletes or the athletes now where parents are very supportive, I always come down to support them, whether it's in Singapore ataupun in Malaysia, sanggup turun, you know, just to be there. I'm just like, oh, amazing, you know, the parents support nowadays. Maybe it's a generation gap. Wait, generation gap. Different, <laughs> <laughs> 
your mom is much younger than me. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's just my mom, lah. You know. Yeah. So, uh, I think it's nice to have like a I don't. You don't? Because I don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you do have this at your home. What kind of difficulties you mean? <laughs> Not really lah Because yeah. if, if training is like From Monday to Friday Then Saturday, Sunday is our time So I believe uh, That two days We have enough of the Time to talk, to go out Spend time together Supporting your child that is in the like international team uh, keep you away from the kids who are not involved in this sport because I mean.
she in, you know, for me, no, because uh, I like to say, uh, this is the recipe, the age difference is quite far apart. And the sister is uh, eight years different. So most of the time, uh, when I first go for training, or I help, I mean, I go overseas to support them on this kind of thing. My kids are quite independent to take care of themselves, because by then they are already in their teens, you know, and then the elder brother is already in the 20s. So, uh, they don't feel that, oh, I spend a lot of time with Afis on this kind of thing. They are okay. Actually, they just want to stay away from you. No, but then my second daughter used to be jealous of Afis. Why must you have him? Uh, it's okay for me to, I mean, for you to have me, all this kind of thing. But then, when Afis go for competitions, he always miss Afis. Hey, when Afis coming back? Hey, when Afis coming back? He always, he always asks that question. But whenever at home, we are just like cat and dogs. When Afis go for competitions, he, she will start to miss. Every time, yeah. every time she will start, start to ask. Actually, my brother too. Uh, but I don't know Afis. Um, he's so annoying. Like, he's just like, see, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. But then when he's not at home, he's like, where is he? Because ah? I think we need to hide him back. And he's a little annoying at home. So, it's just a... Yeah, same, same. Even my daughter, he gave me Afis party. I said, yeah, at home, just teaching. And then she said, bila Afis go for competition, tanya bila Afis balik, bila Afis balik. Same thing. <laughs> so that's why kita pun tahu lah ada ada love thing lah kat situ. Kalau <laughs> gaduh saya ke? Kalau gaduh jumpa tu bila adik kat rumah tu ada lah tak ada. I mean that's I think normal. Teenagers lah kan adik beradik kan. That's how we are. Lah. But I guess now they're playing candle so I can I think we can bash out. <laughs> See, for me, is I have the last one, the seven years old. Um, so far, no. Only whenever the the brother, he's very close to Mirza and my Sarah. So whenever both of them not around, he would definitely ask, where is my, where is Mirza? Where is my Sarah? But um, when during competition, if two of them involved, I will take him along. Uh, that's why he was get so excited when he see them, both of them. He was so excited. Uh, but I, I also ask him. He say, "You want to join Silat?" He say, "No, I don't want. I sick. <laughs> you want to be a dancer?" You know something else. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 Mm, for both of them, okay lah. Sometimes rindu juga lah antara satu sama lain, but. Due to the pandemic, orang seldom go out kan. Ifa seldom go out, so most of them right now orang together je lah. But now that Ilhan has uh, moved out, uh, he's more busy with the punya school sekarang. Not not move up from home. Tak boleh. Pangka. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> Studies lah, masih studies lagi. DJ, ayo tak boleh ayah cakap dengan dia tak boleh kerja kat disco. Ayah haram banyak. Dia dah cakap dengan ayah, don't worry ibu. Dia cakap dengan ayah, don't worry ibu. Ayah minum air jarang. Huh? Air jarang. Macam <laughs> okey lah adik, suka hati kau lah. So, bonus question. If what makes them or you to decide, uh, decide to choose Why do you think that you should be right? You want to visit when I beat him, I ask him. If I was in netball, 
But uh, she was serious about netball But after a while she said I can only concentrate on one So she decided to go silat lah Say okay lah Then you continue lah with whatever you prefer But isn't it even like why you can do like silat? I don't know maybe the The Malay community she like She like the environment She Macam dia tak ramai sangat kawan Melayu So I think she prefer the Malay community but silat so it's better lah, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, you have four. Yeah. Okay, for me is um, both we we uh, actually masukkan Namira dengan Nadra uh, Taekwondo. Okay, um, um, but Nish, after that we change to silat because we find that uh, Taekwondo ni dia you nak kena ada black belt. Uh, as what I, I found out from the coach Baru you boleh masuk arena And compete So 
anak ai begin <laughs> beginners sampai bila nak buat jadi belt belt <laughs> nak nak compete eh so i was thinking it's like okay then we find alternative we say okay why not we join silat see how so because initially when when amira and andra join silat at that point is after a few weeks there's a competition ah uh, that's where two of them get so panic then during that 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 moment they know nothing about silat no basic when they start to fight they start to cry so but then we encourage them just to go and finish off then after that and the, the only thing the father would say tak mati kan tak mati kan? That's, all. That, that's the only word that always he would tell the kids uh, you okay right nothing happen right i say yeah so after that slowly they start to love silat and from there then after a while we they tag along the brother and the sister Mirza and my Sarah in as well yeah so i guess like mostly is the kids choice as a for kid and because i think like you mentioned i think you want to see your kids in action and achieve something yeah in the sport i mean people don't learn sport just for the sake of just yeah. doing it as a leisure Talking about sports, are you aware about the improved version of the <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay, so, <coughs> um, are you fami- also familiar with the rules uh, before this? The old rules in the family. Okay. Yes. yes. So, what are the significant difference or uh, changes that you have seen like from the old rules? Uh, previous time they have six contacts, right? Yeah. Six contacts. Now they have more, like you boleh tari, boleh no hmm. do a lot of things. You can pull, yeah. Yeah, correct. Still point, yeah, point, 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 point. There's a point for you, yeah. The last time, like, even you half tak nuah tu kena circle tu kan? When you tari tak pakai, this is half. But now it's bendy. Yeah. And you can even just pull your best and just bring them down. Last time, tak boleh. Yeah, correct, uh. correct. So, these are just some of the differences. So, um, do you think that it's an improvement for the sport? Ataupun? Actually, more yes. exciting. Yeah, yeah, more interesting. I think, I think we still prefer the old position. Why? I think, ma- but it's like more, uh, because uh, for me, like the seri is still there, you know, the old one. Yeah. Better this one because this one is mixed with MAB, mm-hmm. so a little bit dangerous for the kids or this kind of thing because they are, they are not careful, they are prone to injury. But one yeah. thing when kita, I mean, when we look, we, we see it's much more exciting because mm. the, the fight is really yeah. intense between both of them. Yeah, correct. Yeah, correct. Correct. I guess everybody is still, because it's something new, so everybody is still trying to, to adapt. adapt. Yes. Changes. Change. So maybe. We all of us are still learning how to defend from a certain break from a sit tire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not everybody knows or is still trying to adapt to how do you defend from a break from mm-hmm. a pulley. Yeah. So, um, any other differences or certain changes? From what I see, the banyak attack. Macam bila masuk gelanggang aja, you have to come forward attack. It's like macam dulu kan, tunggu. Tunggu. Banyak tunggu. Tunggu. Now it's like masuk serbu. <laughs> like, <laughs> <Tidak> okay. Ha. <laughs> Good. <laughs> 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 yeah, warning. Yeah. 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 Um, I would say that she improved a lot this time. I mean, as in because she can uh, demonstrate a lot of techniques. Uh, she can use a lot of, I would say, use a lot of techniques now. It's free. I mean, whatever, like the last time. Last time is very restricted. Right? Macam, 
you nak buat ni tak boleh, buat tu tak boleh. So sekarang is something which is free tau. Uh, yeah, correct. Go aja. Go aja. Thank you. Uh, if people call you also, you buat bodoh je. Because why you want to concentrate? Yeah, ni pun ya. I'll just, I'll just 
Masuk, masuk. Tak masuk, masuk. <laughs> Sabar. Traffic is good. Yeah. I mean, once a while, I think those study uh, athletes that think they want to be in tanding and shit. Because more or less, I think it's quite exciting, you know. Because study and tanding, I think, two different things. Study is study. Sometimes when you are in study, eh, they say, hey, tanding is good. When you are in tanding, they say, study is good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but then when they're in the actual business, <laughs> <laughs>
So to start to start the show going right, let's start with a game. So we're gonna play a game called category. So um, I will be saying out a category, and you have five seconds to name out name out uh, a thing that is within that category. So we will continue sampai satu orang cannot think of of a word. That oh no. it falls into this into that category. So whoever, let's say, Sweet Lin is the last person, Si Ani, I can't think of another word. So she will do that one. So we will try on two rounds. Cinta, cinta tahu je. Alright, okay. So let's start with the first word. Chicken shit. So the first category is things which are scary. Barang-barang yang menakutkan. Cica. Cica. Cik Ani. Lipas. Lipas. Katak. Tikus. Crocodile. Harimau. Harimau. Toyol. Bear. Pocong. Puntianak. Biawak Kerenggan Muntah Scary Okay, okay Barang-barang ada dulu plane lah, kapal terbang Barang-barang Nak pocong Pocong boleh terbang Oh tak eh Salah, Pontianak Pontianak can fly right Kenapa Pontianak? Lepas, lepas saja boleh Yang besar okay, lepas terbang Cakap orang putih eh, dragon fly My cat can fly. Your cat, but I don't think your cat. Okay, so Chitlin loses this round. So one point for Chitlin. Oh, both. So one point each for both Chitlin. Okay, so next category. Numbers that start with the letter O. Number yang bermula dengan huruf. Number. Numbers, so I numbers. start first. Yeah. One. Hmm, let's see. Mana <laughs> letter O? Zero. Zero Z. Ada O. Start with. O. O O. Kejap, kejap. Mana ada lagi ya? Eh? O. In, in the numbers ada zero ke? No. Zero yang pasalnya ada number. Yeah, yeah. 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 Start with o. Number. Yeah. With zero. Eh, with o. No. Start huh? with front o. O lah. Hmm. Letter lah. Yeah, 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 ah, that's only one. Ah, that's only one. Yeah, that's right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, F, F, O, P, E, R. Ingat O, P. Nampak itu lah. Itu number. Numbers. One aja. Ya, yeah, one lah. You are the winner because there's only one. Okay, I start first. Eh tak boleh Azlin. Ah anak dia dulu je tak macam nak tak boleh. Tempat uh, swimming pool. Ah I pun nak pergi dia. Tak boleh dah playground. Playground. Job playground. Trampoline. Trampoline. Is trampoline a place? No. Yeah, yeah no, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a place to play. Eh yeah, it's a place to play. 
Ya. Bukan. Bukan. Polis polis bagi pinjam. Oh, oh please eh. Macam yeah. mana tahu playground aja. Uh, beach pun boleh juga. Beach. Uh, uh, apa yang ilat? Beach, beach, beach. Uh, beach to play juga boleh. Please to play. Hmm, dia dah main punya beach. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ambil pun ada. Ha, kat gelang sang. Budak-budak boleh main. Tadi ada kasih dua tau. Ah uh, tadi uh, I give just now beach lagi satu. Apa? Lagi satu apa? <laughs> you kasih one tadi remember? Jogging. Hmm, apa lagi eh? Hmm. Hmm. Cap te. Skip te. Eh, tadi dah cakap. Dah, dah cakap. Oh. 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 Kenapa kak lima kait tu? Benda Benda yang gatal lah Bulat bulu lah Butterfly? Buat gatal Betul buat saya gatal Saya tak tahu buat you Buat me Makes me gatal. Confirm. Feather duster. Gulu kucing. Abu. Abu. Abu ini. Dah sama. Ben. Apa lagi? Allah. So next category. Banyak ah. Monyet. Python. Python yang ular sama. Okey okey okey. Penta. Cita. Wah. <laughs> Semua make keyword eh. Jira. Rhinoceros. Dinosaur. So extinct. Dinosaur extinct. Dinosaur dah tak ada. Dia dah dapat je dia nak cakap. Elvis. 
Kak Lin ni suka tau dengan giveaway <laughs> lah kan. Baru nak cakap tau dia. <laughs> dia dah cakap. <laughs> Yelah tu. Ni orang dia cakap untuk kita. Ya, yeah, tapi the answer is in my mind is kayu. <laughs> Bagus. I contact aja. Ada lagi tak? Dia nak basic lain. Cik Ani, benda yang dia nak boleh simpan dalam peti air. Oh, kena cakap juga eh pasal kecil ni nak cakap tadi. <laughs> Saya baju. Abang dah nak cakap baju juga. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah. Eh tak boleh itu I punya. Okay. <laughs> jangan kacau. Sorry, I dah cakap. Dah belum stokin. Tak, I taruh kain aja. <laughs> stokin. Rambut. Rambut tak dalam fridge. Betul lah. Yeah. Hmm. Barang kemas. Eh, boleh lah, dia taruh dalam fridge. Hmm, softener. Sabun? Oh, sabun. Is the same? Softener. Okay, sabun. Sabun, sabun, sabun. sabun baju. Bleach. Melayu ke? Wah, bagus. <laughs> sabun serbuk. <laughs> Dia cuma satu orang kasi key point je semua ikut, 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 ikut. Kasi ikut ke the way, right? Change, klorok. Eh, klorok saya tak cakap. Eh, hey, you bleach. Uh. Okay, what else? Keris. Tak tahu dalam fridge tu. Tong sampah. Tong sampah dalam. Kuali. 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 Ibu masih masa tak habis. Breaking fast is just a short period yeah, of time. One, one only. Yeah, but traveling is like yeah, it could be when, two weeks. The pandemic, they do tra- yeah. Yeah. That's part of yeah. the reason is then. Another way is to when they are back, catch up all the time with them. Like if us can you know, for shop coffee, ke, you know, get coffee bean, Starbucks, you know, at least for one hour, just to catch up the time. Yeah, true. Yeah. 
we are working moms, right? <coughs> so take leave to to fetch them and then you know to spend that few hours time with them. That's part of the sacrificing that you know, maybe cannot spend three days with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, like uh, shift worker, so maybe after work or before work, you know, meet up for normal, up, go for lunch, dinner, then or cook some food. Ask my husband to cook, and then we eat. I mean, spend the time together, mostly something just like that, lah. Catch up on things. I don't cook. I cook a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it applies to artistic as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> I would say, uh, based on her performance as what I see from the previous uh, competition, I find there's a lot of improvement, and uh, I, I would see basically the she really adapt to the new rules and she's been using it until now which I, I find is good lah. <laughs> for, for standing Mm-mm, for for standing Stamina. Yeah, one thing stamina. Yeah. The first two minutes is actually yeah, the that's right. Yeah. 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 They need to build up their stamina. At least they need to really run. Uh, they, they, I mean, they need to run, and then they need, especially because we're still in the land. They need to synchronize with their partners. You yeah. see, order for them to to do the same thing at the same time. Yeah. So was the changes? I think. For her, I would see uh, for a start, yes lah. Because for all the while, she she's been using the old techniques. So when things needs to change, 
she has to you know, adapt to it slowly lah. I mean, as in, but I can see that she's now more comfortable with the new roles lah. <laughs> so what was your first reaction when you heard about this movie? Or your first thoughts? Oh, I got the bed. Um, <laughs> when I, you know, I came for the, I came for the briefing. Mm -hmm. Then when I saw the new rules, I was like, oh, that's going to be worse. Then my kids all started angry and it was quite, I'm not prone to injury, so I was quite uh, afraid for, for the future. What was that, 2020? Actually quite scary lah. The first time I see, uh, that time yang kat YouTube ke apa yang recently dekat uh, Instagram kan dia ada. I don't know who was who was competing. Ada oh, ada countries. Yeah. yeah. But that, I think that was not really one of the main roles. So it's basically more on like he actually uh, the position of his kids is just wrong because I don't see any execution of. Yeah, but well, I mean my first thought was like he's scary. Apa dulu kaki patah, you know? Macam eh dangerous then what happened to that child, you know, somebody's, somebody's child uh, Baru main sekejap kaki dah patah, it's like eh so dangerous lah this, uh, the new rules macam eh macam mana eh What happened macam one senior, one very experienced uh, athlete main dengan one just uh, baru start You know, dia rembat sekali, kaki patah, you know, happened to that person, kesian lah, you know That's why I feel lah macam eh scary eh, the first time I watch like eh macam hmm but then, but after that when we watch yang the ongoing one, macam eh, but, uh, they know lah, they know the game, macam eh, okay jugalah, interesting juga. Except for the macam, when you tengok eh, macam, wah, best eh, salik ala uh, apa tu, apa, protest, protest. Okay, kita tunggu, apa dia protest? You tak tahu. Nanti dia stop. Macam tengah shock kan? Ani was the CM, right? So I think we both are when the wasit said that it's a valid drop yeah. but the coach said that I mean uh, it's not a valid drop I mean their point of view is not a valid drop so they protest they said that uh, it shouldn't be the red corner for example the red corner it shouldn't be the red corner it should be the blue corner at the points mm. Mm. so usually the technical teams will see you know the team review. Will see yeah, they will review they will view like they will view and they will decide from there whether is it the blue or the red corner should deserve a point from uh, I mean macam from a short term dia become panjang kan nanti nah, dia nah. macam kita tunggu eh apa jadi eh apa jadi tapi the last ah. thing the old version they don't I mean coach cannot protest but right now they have they can protest I think back then the coaches are allowed to protest, protest right. lagi but banyak protest only on the sideline you know verbally uh, but now they use this card system I think it's much more systematic Matic, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They know when to use their Correct. golden cards. Other limitation. Two cards. Two cards, yeah. Tak asyik protest saja. Protest, protest. For me, um, if if you're talking about parents' point of view, mm. me as a parent, of course, I will feel very worried in the first place. What will happen, eh? And my daughter, my 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 daughter is is a daughter, so if anything happens to her, 
Macam mana eh? Nanti tak ada orang nak dia. Pasal orang yang ada So, so that was parents' point of view. But after I have uh, seen all the game, the new rules, I find it's like, it's all up to individual uh, pesilat and also how the coach, uh, you know, train them during the training. So if they know how to use that new techniques in a safe manner, I am sure that things would, you know, you can avoid. Yeah, yeah. 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 correct. Easy, easy, easy to pesilat. Yes. <laughs> Just because of the one sakit kan yeah. 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 I mean like Kalau ada tangan yang patah ni Kadang-kadang dia macam keluar lah yeah. Dan the shoulder Dia macam sikit That kind of thing yeah. So you really need to Approach them In, in, in a more uh, Healthy way I mean okay Kadang-kadang Kalau kalau budak yang kecil Kalau kau pun kena sakit Kau nak nangis je kan Rasa macam juri dia macam ramai eh. Hmm. Ada hmm. satu satu right but not ten. Tapi nak tambahkan poin ke? Betul lah. Not as parents, like mm-hmm. the way more as parents, not yeah. as parents. So 
what do you think about it? Maybe it better. Be better. Better, yeah. yes. Better. better. Much more fairer for the athletes. Yeah. Sometimes it's just, yeah, exactly. Sometimes you know, they train so hard, then we fly the helicopter to the bank. Of course, can is like that. Yeah. You know the points, the points why so at least they have the opportunity to win mm -hmm. the, the match. I mean, it's a swimming pool. I think I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the new system. But mm. the difference is like, let's say, Sunny also the scoring means that five becomes yeah. much, much more fairer. Then, you know, with the new techniques, the athletes have more opportunity to showcase their talents. Then it will be more exciting. So, basically, I'm okay. I'm fine with the new <laughs> Me again. I think what Chick Lin said is true lah. I mean, as in I'm I'm okay. I'm comfortable with the new rules. I mean, initial part I I cannot accept. But after I I've seen the the competition, the the event, I I find that is is good lah to change. Because uh, there's improvement and more exciting, more and more exciting. So, so I I think we should stick to that that rules lah. Uh, you know the new rules, yeah. Kau datang ke I, I always say sabar lah kak, you know, uh, this one training, part and parcel of life. You train harder means, if they push you too hard means you you are going somewhere, you know, you you will see the fruit of the labor lah. You takkan balik nak merungut aja, kalau tidak you will not see what come out out of it. Ya, yeah, mesti like that. Kita tak marah ataupun cakap, eh why kita tak pergi tempat the coaches ke apa lah cakap why is the training that bad you know I will always like bilang Ifa like don't worry you know sekejap aja just for the moment nanti after that the competition dah habis this is all for the competition nak cakap once competition dah habis uh, once your competition dah habis then you can rest as much as you want just like uh, how you study you study like crazy then after that you got the result it's the same I mean the procedure is the same macam kat dia then she like oh okay 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 
Then she understand lah. She understand where where the posisi is going. Then she cakap, oh, okay, okay. That's about it lah. vision eh <laughs> but that is your achievement <laughs> lah. Yeah. I have the same view with the less lah. What I mean is that um, try probably for me, I will just tell my kids. Uh, since you are in sports, mana nya sports yang tak train hard eh? Like even football, swimming, so not all of them are training. It if, if you don't train hard, how are you going to compete? Cause the person who's going to compete is you, not me. Yeah, so you are inside the arena, we are outside arena. So, so if you don't train, how are you supposed to do well? So, so for me, that's what I will tell my kids lah. Like, this is up to individual lah, kan? How you take. But of course, we will not push them because we know individual have different capabilities. So kita tak boleh paksa. So that's that's what I will just tell my kids lah. But at the same time, I will just put in more words like, jump. You know, if you don't train, kalau you tak train, cakap you nak buat, you do well in the arena. You cannot even perform in arena. Be it in tanding, be it in uh, seni. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> that would happen now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to imagine you crying in your belly. <laughs> 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 uh, for me, um, because ni semua masa depan jurang eh, so I I cannot force them. So no point kita force them. In the end, jurang tak happy. They are not happy to do things that they don't like. So I just leave it to them lah. I mean, if you think it's wise to do this, you go ahead. If not, kita pun tak boleh baksa diorang kan. Because kalau I force diorang masuk silat, diorang tak suka. Dia masuk gelanggang, muka tak happy. <laughs> so it's like, ah, uh, then another thing. So, so like I said lah, I mean, like, it's up to individual lah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so now let's talk about the hopes and future of you know Silat. Um, so, what do you as parents or even um, parent support uh, would would you like to see uh, changes in the Silat or a Silat sports industry? Since the pandemic is over, I like to start. I mean, I, I, I prefer to have more competitions overseas or locally so that you know all the trainings that the athletes have been doing, we can showcase during the competitions. You know, give them the opportunity to meet new junior, junior, senior, uh, to, to showcase their talents. Since you know they've been training hard, hard even during the pandemic, also they do Zoom training, all this kind of thing. So, this is the time for them to have more so that uh, they can upgrade their skill, you know, they can improve in their skills. Uh, they can apply what they have learned also. And those two years is a very long time. Yeah, yeah. it's a very long time Forever. actually. Yeah, yeah, correct. Not only that, your parents also just we used to come and support them. And so did it since like, you know. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So in, in a way, uh, most of the time, I mean for me, I spend my weekends supporting Silat all the time. It's like been two, two, two years. Have nothing much to do. <laughs> you know, my kids is all grown up, so this is time for me to give more or less to give back to the community, like you know, by supporting Silat. <laughs> For me, I like the idea of having uh, friendly matches with other perguruan. I mean, um, more interesting kalau tidak, kita is only within the national uh, athlete. Now that they extend to other perguruan, so more exposure. Well, I think it's better. So you can also scout other players from other perguruan. You can invite them. So become lagi close-knitted uh, silat community. Yeah, so you will have more... I mean, you have a closer bonding with the rest of the punya, apa tu, apa, persilat-persilat, all the other uh, perguruan. I mean, you have closer bonding and then from there also you can pick up some of those uh, raw punya athlete lah, you can groom them. Yeah. I think we, yeah, I think last year we had our rally with the intern. Mm.
doing is you know to put them up for selection but I guess like you don't need things like that lah. Yeah. yeah because some of them they do not know the procedure right I mean yeah, yeah like this like at least you invite them macam it's better lah Um, I think that the competition should extend, I mean, the categories like for senior silat as well. Because um, this is what I believe. Eh? If, let's say, from senior silat, if you expose them right now, uh, when they go to another category, they, they, there's no fear, there's nothing to be afraid of. And they have the opportunity to learn the new rules as well. So... This is my point of view lah that we should extend it to sing yeah, 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 yeah for sing sing yeah. Yeah, like you know, just only vaccinated are allowed. So I guess we're hoping maybe after the pandemic is over, we are hoping to like you know run um as per normal like how we used to see from sing and see like mm. up to masters, you know how it's six or in now. Yeah, mm. so I guess that's something that we are all looking forward to. Okay, so talking about the hopes and future, she just is coming here this uh, this this May, a few days after Ramadan, eh Ramadan eh after uh, Ramadan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think Silat is from ten to sixteen, a bit more to sixteen just now. Eh? So will you be keeping up with the season? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like will you keep? I will support. Mm. show live or the talking, I will support to do it. Because uh, to travel to I know Hanoi maybe not at the moment. I mean, if you ask me mm. to travel to Malaysia, maybe there is possibility. But to Hanoi at the moment, no. Because it's quite difficult for my company to release me to go further than maybe Malaysia. A lot of restriction. Yeah. Yes, yeah. same sentiments, yes. I mean, we yeah. all yeah. have our trainers to go, so I mean, we will pray for the athletes, right? That's true. Mm. Okay. So, do you still see your child or your children staying in the Silat for the next five years? And how far do you hope for them to go by then? Like, do you see them still being this sport for like the next five years? And if they are, like, berapa jauh you, you hope to see 
Insyaallah lah. Insyaallah ya. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very difficult to say. <laughs> <laughs> As long as she is still happy with the journey she is she's going through, yeah. then we are here to support her, support her from the back because yeah. she's the one going through all all this. So as long as she's happy, she still can continue. Uh, we are fine. Tak tahu lah nanti kalau besok lusa dia datang ibu. Okay, <laughs> I cannot do anything, you know. I th- uh, yeah, yeah. I hope I hope she yeah she's there. I hope she's there. She's hoping to be there. Uh, Inshallah lah. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> okay, so do you have any other advice for parents who uh, their children who want to pursue silat and what can they look forward to in the silat industry? They, I mean, uh, usually if they want to join silat, uh, one thing good about it is that they are given opportunity to go for for competitions, mm-hmm. whether locally or overseas. Mm-hmm. You know? they have the opportunity to showcase their talents itself just training 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 without uh, competition actually more more i think more athletes will always look forward for competitions because they want to show they are good in the arena mm-hmm. uh, so i know do you have any advice for parents parents to parents i have the same view as jake lena uh, same thing is that everyone even all the people are very excited whenever go competition they are the first one who pack the things uh, think of what to bring along yeah, they uh, yes correct Same, same like the rainy also. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> same. <laughs> same. Inshallah. <laughs> so don't forget to keep up with our social medias and look out for the next session of our YouTube live. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe.